This lab consists of multiple tasks where you have to back up and restore configurations and operating systems on network devices. In the first part, you need to back up both the running and startup configurations of the router and the switch. You also need to back up the operating systems of both the router and the switch. And then you need to verify that the configurations and operating systems are available on the TFTP server. So on the TFTP server, go to Services, TFTP, and make sure that the running configurations, startup configurations, and operating systems have been backed up to the TFTP server. In part two, you need to create a loopback interface on the router with IP address 1111 slash 32. You then need to save the router's configuration and verify that the startup configuration displays the loopback interface. Then you should copy the startup configuration that you stored on the TFTP server in task one to the startup configuration of the router. In other words, you're going to copy the startup configuration that you previously stored on the TFTP server to the router's startup configuration. Then you need to verify, has the loopback interface been removed from the startup configuration? If so, why? You should then copy the current running configuration to the TFTP server and delete the loopback interface on the router. And then do something similar. Copy the latest running configuration from the TFTP server. So in other words, copy the new running configuration that you backed up in step six from the TFTP server to the router's running configuration. Answer this question. Has the loopback been added back to the router config? Now copy the previous running configuration. In other words, the backup that you took in part one from the TFTP server to the running configuration of the router. Has the loopback now been removed from the running configuration? Why or why not? So how is the running configuration acting differently to the startup configuration? You restored a config from the TFTP server to startup and then to running configuration. How did it act differently? In part three, you need to upgrade the router's operating system to this version of operating system stored on the TFTP server, but you need to leave the current operating system in flash. So in other words, there will now be two operating systems stored in the flash of the router. You need to use the relevant boot commands to ensure that the router boots using the latest operating system. So the router should now use this operating system, even though the current operating system is in flash. To verify this, reboot the router and confirm that the new operating system is being used by the router. So can you complete these tasks? Download the attached packet tracer file and see if you can complete all of these labs yourself. Otherwise, watch the next video where I complete these tasks.